And we're back. So we've gotten through two expansions, essentially. Because Realm Reborn was not the original Final Fantasy XIV. But they basically made it the start of the current version of um, Final Fantasy. So we begin through two expansions ish, kind of, sort of. But we are now in uh, Stormblood, and now we're doing the regular leveling quest chain, so we'll probably uh, get a lot more XP. Also, my job quest should start showing up again. I'm 64. Um, but this is uh, the, the finishing of the Heaven's Ward quest, so this may actually trigger my access to my monk job quest. Oh, and I just clicked through your dialogue box. But anyways, Lisa's chosen your path and asks her friends. We must do what we can to support her cause. We are fated to join the conflict of any cause. Once the Alliance has taken the wall and opening the way to Garibania, we will have little choice but to fight. Which is not to say the cause is unworthy. After all, ignoring the plight of those whom we might conceivably save is not wisdom, but indolence. Correct? I, for one, look forward to joining hands with the Alamegans and striking a blow against the tyranny of the Empire, as I rather expect you. Quick march! The Imperials have co soon come to their senses, and we must be ready, ready to face their retribution. It is almost time, Father. Aye, almost. Then firm, Pippin. I learned to brace myself against the charge of the Bull of Alamigo. No foe would dislodge me. Very well, Evard. I will take our home homeland back. For the both of us. So, obviously, if you haven't noticed, um, Raban is from Irobanya, or Alamigo. My lord, why sorry? Our scouts have confirmed the preliminary reports. Baelus's wall has fallen to the Orthian Alliance. The hunt for Omega and the unknown icon continues. Though both yet elude us, my lord, their battle caused considerable damage across the region. Should we perchance divert some of our forces for s from the search to undertake necessary reconstruction work? I forgive me, my lord. I did not intend it will be done. Ah 
unknown. Spies tell me the Domans call it Shinri. That it proved a match for Omega. Yes. Coming days promise to be most interesting. Most interesting. At the far edge of the fate, the road begins anew. The heroes look to eastern skies and behold their crimson hue. A dawn of liberation, a gathering storm of blood. Carrier. The question is... How will the Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Oh, I didn't see you there. Forgive me. Word from Balesar's wall is proving long in the coming, and my mind cannot help but stray to grim places. Alphano, a message from the Alliance. It's about time. Pray summon the others at once. Yes, sir. General Aldin reports that his forces have secured the breach in Balesar's wall. And what of the Primal and Omega? There is still no sign of either at this time. He writes that they will begin a more thorough investigation shortly. And, as expected, he wishes to petition the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. As expected. The Alliance's decision to capture a part of Balesar's wall is open to interpretation. The wall serves to demarcate Imperial territory, Alamigo included, from the rest of Eorzea. To an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. Indeed, and the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. You're saying they won't fight for Alamigo? Even after everything that's happened? Not without the consent of her people, no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation of the Alamegan opposition. They would have us act as intermediaries. Precisely. The Scions are uniquely qualified to serve in this capacity. That is to say, leases, given her personal connection to the Resistance. Who better than you to broker an agreement between the Alliance and the people of Alamigo? Assuming you are willing, of course. Of course I am! You know I'd like nothing more! As for who should accompany you on said diplomatic mission, I had a mind to volunteer myself. Well, that covers the talking part. But you just know there'll be trouble along the way. Are you available? Thanks. It means a lot knowing you'll be there. I too shall accompany you. Such endeavors are seldom hampered by a surfeit of healers. Good point. Allow me to offer my services as well. I have spent quite enough time here of late, so I'll be coming. But we will need someone to keep an eye on things. I trust you have no objections? None, my lady. Gladly shall I continue to serve as caretaker of the Waking Sands, and there keep watch for signs of primal and Asian activity both. As capable as my learned friend undoubtedly is, 
There are some troubles that may prove too much for a single scion, on account of which I mean to stay. It is settled then. Let us each see to our preparations. And if anything, Pitaru is always going to be here in the Reds. I mean, I really think she actually is playing antecedent as it is, so. I'm going to turn the volume up just a little bit. Well then, Tataru, I leave the rising stones in your capable hands. Don't worry, Alphano. I'll see that the place is still standing when you come back. This later expansion is a lot more VO. Mistress Yishtola has unfolded all. You are bound for Girabanya? Aye. The Alliance would have us make contact with the Alamegan resistance as soon as possible. It begins then. As soon it shall in Doma, if the gods are good. It is but a pity it must be now. I am sorry that we shall not be present to fight beside you in the battles to come. You have stood with us countless times, Lady Yugiri. Pray do not apologize. Then let us thank you instead. You and yours stood with us from the first, when we came to this land as refugees in search of sanctuary. Loath am I to think what might have become of my people, had you not extended to us the hand of friendship. We will never forget. This I solemnly swear. Much has changed since first you set foot on these shores. Revenant's toll stands as a testament to that. I'm sure your people will manage in your absence. Indeed. They have built a new home for themselves and no longer need me to shepherd them. The time has come for Kozetsu and I to return to our master. To our home. I know how you feel. It's time I went home too. Though our battlefields be a thousand mounds apart, our purpose is one. Let all men hearken to the clarion call of freedom, of liberation, from Eorzea to the far east, that they may rise up and cast down the curse of Garlemald. Take care, you hear me? When all of this is over, we're going to celebrate, together. Just you wait. I should like that very much. Fare you well. Elves and moms are part, yet you not hidden purpose. Let us pray both our endeavors meet with success, shall we then? Wait, wait, not just yet. I knew I had forgotten something important. Please, could you come with me? Me? Um, what now? Um, all right then, if you insist. I like this outfit on her better. <laughs> what do you think? 
As you see, I designed it to be light and loose, an outfit tailor-made to the needs of a skilled fighter like the Head cannon, I would probably like cross my hands, look at my outfit, and be like, "Like, so what about me? We pretty much have the same fighting style." <laughs> the work never ceases to impress. Much more of this, and I may have to stop introducing you as a science receptionist and start referring to you as our preeminent seamstress. It's lovely, Tataru. Thank you. I feel like I take on a legion. I'm glad you like it. And with that, I'll delay you no longer. Safe travels. Then onward to Garibania. Our first stop will be at Emrezois Spire in East Shroud. Oh, I can teleport. So you're probably wondering why I currently have a uh, quest to do a monk, or, or a notification that a monk quest is available, and I'm not doing it right now. Mainly because I believe I probably want to get into Garibania first. Well, our president accounted for. When you're ready, my friend, pray inform the officer that you wish to proceed into Garibania. Ah, the science is the seventh dawn. We were told to expect you, or shall I summon someone to escort you to the wall? Yes, go to Casamori. Audience. I remember crossing the border, standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow scions, the warrior of light among us. Behind us, Baelsar's wall cutting the land in two. Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. Tyranny and the promise of a new beginning. But one that could only be bought with flames and blood. Third question will be if I could get through this one and the next one before Ed Walker comes out. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, the gold date in that case would be for the, uh, not the early release, because I did pre-order uh, Ed Walker, but um, the follow-up, the, the actual full launch date. If you pre-order, you get early access, which means that I think you get a week or two uh, before non-pre-orders can start. Remember, whenever you find a new Aetherite, it's a new Aetherite. Also, thing that sucks. Actually. One, I can't fly. I'll probably do the chocobo. Oh. 
Am I going fast? I don't know. I may just grab the chocobo keep because sometimes it can be handy, especially when you can't fly. Actually, before I do this, I'm going to do the monk quest. Since I got the eighth right, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, pop over to old uh, for it, let's let's muck it up. I promise you that once I finish the main story for this, I'm gonna uh, not. I'm gonna go back to my main and new game plus. Uh, all the classes go through that. Um, Maybe even revisit the monk quest that might do a series with, with both of them, but. Actually, let's. Let's make sure we're looking like a monk. Ah, as a ghost, dim though you are, I would swear you possess an innate ability to sense when you are needed. Not that note, I have a task for you. Your fellow brute Widdergelt, uh, some matter or other weighs upon his mind of late. Knowing him, it could only pertain to Alamigo, but the stubborn oaf is determined to keep it pent up inside, loath to trouble, trouble me with it or some other nonsense. I shouldn't doubt. But you, my friend, you are a brother to him. If there is a man alive in whom he would be willing to confide, it is you. For the ho hopeless idiot's sake, I bid you go to Reverend Stoll and place yourself at his disposal. That will be all for today. You have done done well. I'm pleased with your progress. You always say that, Master, but you're nowhere near where you want to be. Not even close. Indeed, and besides, any progress we make, we, we owe wholly to you. Damn right. Without your guidance, we would have gotten nowhere fast. Guidance? Let's go. I'm glad to see you. Things are well here. Are you... As you can see, but hmm. Isenta Ochaka, you may go go ahead. I would speak with Eskus. Those two grow stronger every day. Shadow darkens their way no more. Their purpose is clear. Would that I would say the same, the same of mine. You see, I have received an offer, the Resistance. They ask that I rejoin them, lead one of their units. Once I would have jumped at the chance, but no more. No longer do I live in, for revenge. You and the Professor showed me this is not the way. So I will turn down the offer. We would focus not on fighting, but rebuilding. But, th what is within, but what is within my power? Beyond the battlefield, how can I serve my homeland? Forgive me. I should not trouble you with this. It is my answer. I'm fine. But first, I will give the Resistance their answer. My thanks for listening, as it goes. Still agonizes over it. I hardly the state of mind to be in for such an important meeting, is it? Isn't there anything we could do? Not... Not us two. His pride will not, not allow it. But you, Eskos, he opened up to you just now, did he not? I dare say he will do it again. Terribly sorry to put, but could you please follow Master Wittergelt? Watch over him in our stead. Hey, give me a choice of one or the other. I'm going to say Desenta this time, because I think I said your check. 
<laughs> Wait, what? Who? Me? As it goes, you uh, reckon you could look in on Mr. Winnegat for us? <laughs> He's bound for Little Alamigo, I believe. I don't think I saw that chain. I think I did the other way around. Anyways. <laughs> Here we go. Of course, they get a lot of lag. Hey, I just happen to be here. You would bear witness to my resolve very well, brother. Witness me. Have you made up your mind, then? I have. Your offer does me great honor, but with respect I must decline. My days of vengeance are over. I see. That is your decision. I shan't press further. And yet, I would be lying to say that... I, lying were to say I'm not disappointed with your mastery of the fist. Your combination... Your contribution to our struggle would have been immeasurable. I'm sorry. Not be. Remember, fighting is not the only way to serve one's nation. We each of us must find our own path, own path to walk. Our own path. There is a place I would, I would be. I take my leave of you. Is plain you know Wittigelt better than most? Why is my camera being all funky? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> I don't know what's going on! I can't... I can't. This is so weird. I can't move very far. I don't know what happened! <laughs> Anyways... Well, then you know what you got better than most. If you're indeed as friend as I mark you to be, I needn't tell you to, to be there for him. And I not. Uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of circumstances. Here he is. This. This is the symbol of Ralgar. Find me here. You know me too well, Essegos. Mark a destroyer. My people bore, bore it here when the Empire came. The risk was great, but their faith was greater still. Alas, the faith was all but faded. Wiped away from the motherland, the Garleans suffered not the divine. They allow us not even the solace of worship. By Ralgar, I, I know now. By Ralgar, I know now. That which I can do for Alamigo. All along, there's, there is but one path. Let us return to Riven and Stoll. There I will tell all.
Man, I'm really getting leg issues. How are y'all doing? There we go. Thank you all for coming. I have found my calling and I would share it with you. I will go to Garabanya and there revive the Fist of Ralgar. Well then, we're coming with you. We won't let you out of our sight. Not until you, we've repaid the debt. At any rate. Suffice it to say, I... I too shall come. The lands of Garabanya harbor countless mysteries, and such knowledge, knowledge as I possess, all doubtless serve you in your, in your endeavor. And you, brother, can I count on you as well? I'm with you all the way. I'm glad your presence gives me heart. The mission will not be easy, but I will not rest until I succeed, and the fist of Ralgar is returned to the land. This I swear. On that inspiring note, I shall go and make ready. And Wittergelt, don't pray and do, do not forget what we discussed. We will depart anon. Pray see, see to your preparations, Eskos. Are you ready to depart, brother? I might not be able to finish this. Maybe. We'll see. Good. The professor has already left. He, he makes for a village called Alagana. There he will make take the measure of the land. I would strike out soon soon as well, but one matter troubles me still. The creed of the next the new physical Ralgar. With all due respect, Master, but at this rate, we'll never get to Garabanya. All right. Sometimes the answer can't be forced. Mayhap it will come to me on the road. Very well. That is the way. En route, I would make a stop at a place called Schism. Monks once changed there. In revisiting the past, we may better walk the future. Okay, all this is inside Garabanya. So. Because I'm only at level. Because I'm 64, just a level above where, where this would be. I'm going to actually go back to the MSQ and then when I kind of run across this, I'll kind of like integrate it into it. Which I think we don't have to wait too long, at least for the schism part of this one. So, you're a Banya. I, uh, I'm here. I had to do some monk stuff. Greetings, silence. On behalf of the Eosian Alliance, I welcome you to Castromorians. Thank you, General. We are relieved to hear that your forces secured the wall without incident. Have the Imperials made any attempt to retake the Castrum since then? None, save for a few skirmishes between our scouts and their patrols. We have barely any contact with them, but we will know it only a matter of time before things escalate. As if attacking Belsar's wall weren't enough, Ilba had summoned a primal right on their doorstep, and Gargamel does not like to let such shows of defiance go unanswered. It was a de declaration of war, even if it was not Ilbert to Ilbert's to make, and now we are bound to it. A wheel of the world. Science stand ready to serve, General. What would you ask of? As stated in my message, the Alliance will not proceed without the support and cooperation of the Alamedian people. We would have you serve as emissaries and make contact with the Resistance. 
Consider it done, General. We won't let you down, I swear. Then I'll leave it to you. Godspeed. Hi. Ah. All the caster and all. And all the caster in all the world, walking to mine. Master Garland, what brings you here? A certain missing elegant weapon in Draconic Primal. Omega and Shinryu. I think there should never be call it. Anyways, we've been studying their trail of destruction, hoping it might lead us somewhere. Which it has has which it has singularly failed to do. Then tis like Omega fell to Earth in occupied territory. Meaning it may already be in Imperial hands. Even so, it bears the bears repeating that we engage the stasis system. Assuming the command was received and executed successfully, the weapon will be of no use to them. Assume. We should hurry up and find it regardless. All the more reason to reach out to the resistance. If we want to press on into Garabanya, we need their blessing. Everyone's counting on us. Let us not waste any more time talking. As you probably heard, there are plenty of factions in the resistance, so I'm taking us to see one of the one of the one see the one with the most influence. Their headquarters is located in a place called Ralgar's Reach, an old temple to the east of here, near across the Veladina River. I learned a route that should allow us to avoid Imperial patrols. Stick with me and we'll be there before you know it. with me good from here we'll head northeast towards the river the water is not too deep so you won't have to swim I don't see any soldiers. Good. Let's cross. If you're wondering about the tower to the south. That's part of uh, Castellum Veladina. That's when... What the Imperial Society called the Old Bridge uh, after they fortified it. I call it a great big eyesore. Honestly, you can see that rotten banner from absolutely moms, moms away. <sighs> they never miss a chance to rub our noses in it, do they? Come on, we should keep going. Ooh.
one out of ten and five quests. Those I'll try to do offline. Although I do have to say that a lot of uh, flying in Garabanya I can't do until later expansion changes because of access to certain areas. I want to get off. Well, also, you know how we were talked about meeting Whittier Gelt at, at a place called Schism? Guess what's over here? Schism. As a child that came to this place, we faced fearsome fiends that we might open our chakra. In returning here, I hope there will be, be a spark, inspiration of a new creed, but it's not so simple. Hmm. This one's taught, taught that, though, the, through the pursuit of strength, one can approach the sublimity of Ralgar. The teaching our forebears followed to their undoing. In pursuit of strength, they fought, sought the power to rule, but by that power, they were destroyed. Our creed must must rise from that dark past, or we cannot light the way onto the future. Nay, we must find a new path. Well, there's nothing like a journey for finding paths. Let's keep moving, Master. Something will come to mind before we know it. So I pray to Zenta. Zenta. Uh, uh, so I pray. But yes, let us continue to the peaks, east of the village of East to the village of Alagana. There, Professor Eric awaits us. Here we are. On the other side of this pass is Ralgar's Reach. What do you say? But all I see are rocks. I presume there is some sort of trick to this. Indeed, a glamour. Did I, Ishtala? I take it they have a talented mage in their ranks, or mayhaps an artificer trained in the modifications of glamour prisms. In something like that. The important thing is that it fools the Galleons. Well, oh, before we go in, I don't know if Tataru told you, but my friend Nago, the messenger who came to the Rising Zones, is a member of this faction. So they know us, and they shouldn't attack us on sight. That said, they can be a bit jumpy. So let me lead the way and uh, don't go reaching for your weapons or anything. With the sparkle of demasking dusk, all is laid bare. I remember the old stories, how the Breaker of Worlds came down from on high and cleft the earth with a single blow. 
Ralga's Reach. A holy place, and a fitting home for the Resistance. For the brave and the true, the loyal sons and daughters of Alamigo. They were waiting for us there. Men and women whose souls still cried out for what was lost. For what could be ours again. I remember we're turning things down. So forgive us for our precautions, but we couldn't be sure we have crossed the who had crossed the barrier. We see you now for who you are, though, the signs of the seventh dawn. Now I know you would let not have come all this way unless you have something important to discuss, and I'm eager to hear what it is you have to say. But let's do this. Not do this on our doorstep, eh? Come with me. Right over in the corner, but there's a couple things to, to do before you. For that, this is a city. Which, I mean, it's a small one, so not much to it. But they do have an Ethernet shard. And an Aetherite Crystal. Chocobo Keep. We had another Aetherite Shard. You have returned to yourself to all the Ethernet shards in Margo's Reach. The Fringes Gate is now accessible as an Ethernet de destination. My name is Conrad Kemp, and I have the dubious honor of overseeing operations here. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Kemp. I am Alfino Leveilleur of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, as are my comrades. Before I speak of our purpose here, pray allow me to thank you for sheltering Ida, forgive me, Lise, and Papalimo at great risk to yourselves. Now, now, there's no need for that. They risk their necks for us enough times. It was the least we could do. I I wanted to, um, I mean, about the mask and... Ah, oh, don't fret over that. You're not the first person to take up arms against the Empire under a false name. We'd do the same if we had any sense. My condolences for your loss, child. Papalimo laid down his life to save us. To give us a chance to make a better future for ourselves. There will never be a better time to drive the Garleans from our lands. But we have to take the lead on this. We can't leave it to fanatics like Ilbert. Oh, 
More than a few of our people were taken in by his promises. Followed him all the way to the wall. Good men and women who never came back. When Monago told us what had happened, how the bastard had made sacrifices of them for his twisted ritual. By Rolger, it filled me with an unholy fury. But what's done, is done. Best we can do now is see that it wasn't all in vain. That is why we are here today, sir. To see that some good comes of this tragedy. On behalf of the Aeorsian Alliance, we do hereby extend a formal offer of military assistance to the Alamegan resistance. Do you now? Well, go on then. I'm sure there's more to it than that. So that's the way of it, eh? The Alliance, hoping to avoid a direct confrontation with the superior forces of the Empire, wishes to engage them by proxy with our vastly inferior ones. My comrades and I must confer on your proposal. A moment, if you please. Of course, Master Kemp. Take all the time you require. New uh, quest sounds. Ah, no, 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 no. Actually, might be an upgrade to some of my others. Hold on. Oh, I'm just accepting the quest. Okay, we got it. So it would seem we find ourselves with the surfeit of free time. Ah, forgive me. You are free to look around Rogers Reach. In fact, I would encourage you to do so. Give me a better grasp of our current circumstances. Thank you, Master Kemp. I believe we will do just that. Let's make the most of this opportunity and assess the resistance capabilities. Free to poke our noses wherever we will, eh? I like the sound of that. Ah, well, I already know this place inside and out. I can show you around if you'd like, I suppose. Great. Let's get started. I, I, I definitely say that playing Monk and having this where essentially Lise who is essentially a monk maybe pugilist you maybe you might have to consider a class but she's a monk and a and plain monk as my main uh class makes it really feel a lot like um, like a kinship at least, at least in my humble opinion I bet you think the inner resistance is mostly made up of Alamegan Highlanders like me but the truth is that we don't even account for half we've got Hellscar from all over and all the way over by the spine in here, and plenty of seekers of the sun, like Nago. Now, there's even some beastmen, well, beast women, I suppose, like that one over there. She's an Ananta. Uh, they've been with us for a while now. Well, one of the smaller factions has. The rest just won't have anything to do with us. Plus, we're no different from the Gaudis. They're no different. We're no different from the Gaudis. They keep to themselves, spending all their time crafting. The Nonta make the most amazing jewelry, by the way. They use magics to twist metals and crystals into shapes you wouldn't believe. Plenty of people ha hardly ever get to see their work, but then most, most don't even know they exist. That's enough about them, anyway. Let's take a closer look to the statue you brought. Well,
be. Oh, there. You can't see because it's dark. I'll show you, show you this, uh, this dialogue. Let me see this better. This is an Ananta. Women snake person. Pretty awe-inspiring, isn't it? Breaker of worlds. Guided our ancestors' cities lands all those centuries ago. Ida used to tell me the story on stormy nights. She wanted me to understand, to remember. At the end of the fifth astral era, when the waters rose higher and higher, people all across Eosia beseeched the heavens for a sign. And lo, lo, a burning star appeared in the eastern sky and led the way to these mountains of Garabanya. They who were saved by his grace pledged to honor and revere him, to devote themselves to great works without and within. The storm of blood approaches fast. Heaven, heavens open, heavens weep. Her hells open, heavens weep. For no one soul doth that lie beyond the measure of his reach. Last place in on this stone by a monk of the Fist of Raga. Ida explained to me, a day will come will come bringing strife and sorrow that none may escape. Waste not these precious hours, but in quiet preparation make strong the body and mind. I don't know if that storm of blood is finally upon us, but if it is, I have to believe that everything we've been through, everything that has led us to this point, will see us through to the end. Oh, sorry. That was all a bit melodramatic, wasn't it? Let's keep moving, shall we? Off to the infirmary. as you probably tell. Here's where the resistance healers patch up the wounded and tend to the sick. No matter how carefully we plan our operations, casualties are inevitable. It is a sad thing to look about, but it's also important to remember the cost, as Conrad would say. We should go. I'll show you the Aetherite class in it. Maybe that's a Hell's Guard. Um, Actually, both of these look like they're Hell's Guard uh, rows. Uh, nope, this is a Highlander. Big one. You've seen one Aetherite, you've seen them all, right? Not quite. This one is older design, dating back, back decades when the Fist of Falgar was still here. It may look a little different, but it works just as well as any other. I'll show you where the, the settlers are, are next, but don't forget to attune to the Aetherite before you go. 
Uh, don't worry, I already did that. Armor, armor, arms, armor, potions, you name it, these folks got it. The resistance would be in a bad way without brave uh, merchants to keep them provisioned. You're sort on anything or you need something repaired, these are the people to speak to. Oh, Alpha and Elise are here. Why don't we see how they're getting on? Come to take the measure of our friendly neighborhood merchants. They're a bold lot, that's much as plain. If the Imperials found out they were peddling their wares on the resistance, they might be lucky to escape their lives. It's a gamble I, and I admire their courage. Their motives could hardly be, be said to be altruistic. Ah, here you are. We've been looking all over for you. We've finished discussing your proposal and ready to receive you all back at the tent. I've sent someone to fetch your stroller and crowd if you'd like to follow me. Oh, teleported. Thank you all for waiting. We have reached a consensus. I, Conrad Kemp, do hereby accept the Eorzean Alliance's proposal. You must understand, however, that our cooperation comes with certain caveats. Those caveats being... I take no joy in this, just so you know. Were it within my power, I'd offer you more assistance, but the resistance is far more fragmented than you realize. The men and women in my care belong to but one of many factions. Simply put, I can only speak for the people of Rolga's Reach. Now, I have every intention of appealing to the others, and I expect many will agree, but it will take time and I cannot guarantee universal support. Understood. I shall see that the Alliance is under no misapprehensions as to your position. Much obliged. But that's not the whole of it. As you can imagine, the loss of those who cast their lot with the Griffin left us short on numbers. Some of our most trusted veterans died at the wall, and we've had to fill their posts with the young and inexperienced. Frankly, everything's in a right bloody mess. Oh, we'd be more than happy to help you get back on your feet. If we're going to work together, we'll be doing ourselves a favor. Well, there's no shortage of work to be done, that's for sure. We're in dire need of new blood, too. Ishtola and I could lend a hand in the infirmary. From what I saw, they could do with a few more healers. Very well. I, for my part, shall return to the Rising Stones. I'm certain there are others among the Scions who would welcome the opportunity to fight for Alamegan liberation. Uh, 
Um, is there anything else we can do to help? I had something else in mind for you, Lot. Monago and Mefred will tell you more. So it seems like the expansions near the very start. Understood. We won't let you down. It's kind of a way to kind of uh, almost introduce you to some of the zones or just the more of the current circumstances. They send you on basically a bifurcated quest. So you get two separate quests that end up coming up. They, honestly, they do this with... They've been doing this with every expansion. So we did this with Heaven's Word with um, uh, uh, the Fortan brothers. Uh, Atarel and Emmeline both had their own quests, a uh, series of quests. Um, and you can essentially accept both and do them whichever order you want. You get a little bit of trouble. In any case, you have to do both of them. <laughs> you can't get around that part. Turn the volume down. Right then, Monogamy Mefford are to be our keepers. Knowing not of what they require, one task is good as the other. Make your choice, Essigos. Oh, wait, casting. They were just notating that I can, okay, you can, um, Oh, no, it's just. I only popped over there and I've been leveling Red Mage just because of something that that's going to happen with Stormblood. Uh, or not Stormblade Shadowbringers, uh, where they switch from doing the class quests to role quests. So I need one of each of the type of the roles. So there's a healer, there's tank, there's physical DPS. So by that means a monk can do it or a dancer could do it. Uh, even though one's physical melee and one's physical range, although I don't think there's magical melee. So I got to kind of keep up with that with those once we get to the, to that point. Uh, I might even see about trying to do them to that governor or just like lump summon them at, at one point so we can just get bing bang boom through them. Um, once we hit to a certain point, got a branch, but that's not for a while now. At the risk of repeating myself, it's, it's still hard for me to believe that, we, that we'd meet again, of all places. Though I reckon you probably don't remember me after all this time. Of course I remember you. I'm impressed, given that everything that would happen, we would say you've forgotten you're getting... I, you'd be forgiven for forgetting all about your, our time in Quarry Mill. Suffice it to say, we didn't forget about you either. We're alive still. As for me, I went to Little El Amigo when, while Galleon was recovering. Thunderbold uh, was my former commander and an old friend, and I had a lot of, on my mind. In the end, I decided to disband our unit. I told the men to live their lives as they saw fit. Some chose to remain in Little El Amigo, and others went to Ulda for, for work. As you can see, I chose to come back to Garibania and join Conrad and the others. I've kept busy since then, ferrying people and provisions across the border and back. It's not been easy, but it's been fulfilling. Today, however, we've been heading heading east into the peaks. Godward thinks we might have luck uh, finding new recruits in the village of Alagana. Oh, hey, I happen to go there. Need to go there for my one quest. Alagana? 
If we're going there, you're taking me with you. Oh, that's right. You're from Malagana, aren't you, Lise? By all means. Means we'd welcome the company. There'll be more to, to it than just asking around, but we can talk about it in the way. Make your preparations and meet me at the Tunnel to the Peaks. Well, let's uh, while we're at it, let's grab the one for um, from Monago. Before we begin, I'd like to thank you and the Scions again for patching me up before I bled all over the floor. I owe you my life, and I won't forget that. Furthermore, it was rude of me to run off without saying a word. It's all well and good. Good me claiming my duties here couldn't wait, but a parting thank you was the very least you deserve. My apologies. And thank you. Now, to business. Commander can entrust me with a for formal reply to be hand-delivered to the Alliance leadership. It covers everything we discussed, as well as detailing the di disposition of our forces. What I need is an escort, one or two men at most, so we can make it to the well swiftly and without attracting undue attention. Very well, I shall join you in this. General Aldine commands the forces at the Castrum Orient, so it will be as simple enough to see to his, into his hand. Great. That's just what I wanted to hear. When you're ready to depart, meet me at the pass leading out of the reach. The one's going into the peaks. One's going uh, back to Astromorians. For reasons, I'm going to follow my fruit. I'm going to new places. Back the way I came. Tunnel will take us all the way to the peaks. We're on a mission for Conrad to Alagana. Clear the barricade, if you would. Aye, sir. Shouldn't take more than a moment. There are more villages there than there are out here, but also or Imperials keeping a close eye on things. We need to check, tread carefully. I remember the peaks of Girabania, silent watchmen that would stand long after we were gone. We came seeking allies to join us in the fight against the Empire. People who had had enough. People who had suffered every possible indignity, who had been treated like animals, day after day after day. We have a glamour in place here too, as you may have noticed. So far as the Imperials are concerned, this is not more than a testament to the savage impulses of a lesser race. Hey, so remember though, once we leave these ruins, we'll have no glamours to conceal us. The villages to the east keep watch for patrols. Well, that's
feel like I'm traveling faster than I thought. Maybe it's just because I'm, uh, I got shorter feet. But I'm supposed to be able to travel the same distance. Nearing an Imperial in sight. That's a mercy. Algana's due east, past the bridge. Follow me, it's not much further. Let's help these people out, shall we? There's blue mage chicken. some XP from it. Until it hit 80, XP is always good. Quests right next to each other. Return the monk and uh, film your uh, film your face for that. There's my monk quest right there. It still shows it in the cutscene. <laughs> we rest easy. We made it. This is Alagana. Seems strange coming home like this. I always imagined it would be... Oh, sorry. This has nothing to do with why we're here. We need recruits. Aye, we do. But as I said back at the Reach, it's a little more complicated than just asking for volunteers these days. As you know, we're shorthanded because many of the people were taken by the Griffin's promises and went to the Wall, never to return. It wasn't just them, though. Folks from all over, including some of my former comrades, answered his call of arms. As to why they, we came to this particular village, it's rumored that Alagana lost a few use as well. If there are, that's the truth to it, then there will be other sympathetic to the cause. Then again, after the Griffin's betrayal, they, they may be suspicious of outsiders, claiming allegiance to the resistance. Rightfully so. So with all that in mind, how are we supposed to convince them to join? I mean, I knew I wouldn't be as simple as giving a speech in the village square. Not as if you didn't want you didn't want the place to be burned to the ground, no. You might as well piss piss in the viceroy's eye. We'll need to a great deal more circumstance than that. We never know when an Imperial spy is. We must speak with the Elder first. I know for a fact he can be trusted. We'll listen to what he has to say and decide what to do after. Sounds like a plan. Let's hope there's still some brave men and women here willing to fight. Dragon Frid, the village elders, uh, over by the shore. In no time like the pre present, let's have a look. Here we go, I finally made it. Elagana. When I return here, I remember the day the Temple of the Fist was raised. On that day, I was training, like all the days before. Then, without warning, we were attacked. We all of us fought bravely. Even little ones like me, desperate to protect our temple, our home. But it was all in vain. One after another, we fell. All the while, the temple burned. 
Some few of us managed to flee, me and my closest brother, Audrey. Adri. We stumbled into this village, smoke billowing behind us, and when I looked around, Audrey was not there. Never saw him again. Forgive me. Now is not the time to s s for sorrowful recollection. Come, that is, look, look for the professor. Go on. Go on, then. Join the bloody resistance. Add to the pile of corpses. That's the only difference you're going to make. You're wrong. I'm going to make a real difference. I'm going to train hard and honor Ralgar, and he'll grant me power. That power couldn't could have saved couldn't have saved the temple, our home. What makes you think it's going to save us now? Don't be a fool. No matter how strong you you become, you're, you'll soon be one man against the might of the Empire. Say what you will, but my mind's made up. I'm not going to let I'm not letting the bastard Imperials take any more from us. You just, you just take care of yourself. Here. Wolves crush to submission. Fire in their hearts, extinguish. Rekindle hope within such people. That must be the purpose of being fit. Praise be, I have it. Our new creed. Those who have had their homes stolen, their loved ones taken, not as more desirous than strength, the strength to protect that which they hold dear. Well, well, I see that you have found your answer rather more quickly than I expected for someone who sooner strikes than, rather than sink with his own head. head. With the order's purpose thus established, we may consider the question of place. I regret to say, however, that the old temple grounds are currently occupied by the resistance, and there is not to indicate that they will vacate any time soon. Grounds hold symbolic meaning, a fitting stage for reviving the fist, but ultimately the physical location matters not. If our mission lies in the spiritual realm, within people's hearts, there we will rekindle the face, and all may know the solace of worship. That, as you say, is the spirit. Now then, I shall report on how matters stand in the region, but few fist faithful remain, even accounting from those who practice in secret, nor has there been any trace of the sect of shadow, not since our misguided leader's downfall. Save for those who came over to, to the light, it is safe to assume that his ambition is high with we have a long road ahead, that much is plain, but we will see our journey through, one step at a time. The first step begins here and now. Great! So, uh, what do we do exactly? We hold the demonstration. Give the people tangible proof. Proof that the fist is returned. Mesagos, first impressions last, and you are the first among us. As such, I would entrust this task to you. You may leave it to me to round up the villagers. I shall cry up a veritable storm for the coming spectacle. Desenta Otaxka? I, I will never get their names right. Uh, take the wooden dummy, set it up on the village outskirts, and as to go, slimber up and tell me when you're ready. All right, time to limber up. I think I'm ready. Not many came, uh, far fewer than I hope, but no less of a show will we'll give them. Come, brother, your performance will mark the revival of the Fist of Frogger. Lead in with the shoulder tackle, follow up with the dragon kick, then finish it with the boot shine. Hey, 
How did I lose targeting on the dummy? Hey, ain't that the Fist of Algar? I thought all the monks were gone. The people of Alagana, I am Mudigelt, proud son of Alamigo and brother of the Fist of Algar. I all know the sad tale of our order. Years ago, the king of Verum laid our temple to waste. Our faith was lost to the people. And without faith, it is, it is the people who are lost. For to the lose faith, it's lose hope. We need hope now, in this bleak age, more than ever. So, I come before you today, and I beseech you, join in reviving the fists of Roger. This restore hope to the land. You can't fool us. You want, just want soldiers, fodder for the front lines. You're no different than the accursed masks. So, so it was in the past. Our order was seduced by power, swore allegiance to the royal family. We monks are little more than tools of war. But that was the this of old. The new fist serves no king. It hungers not for glory. It thirsts not for blood. Hey, friends, it seeks only to protect that which we hold dear. Act. Ralgar is the destroyer. As his, as his disciples, there is but one thing we ought to destroy, our own weakness. Therein lies his strength to protect. Therein lies hope. I will not lie. I am no, no great warrior. My forebears would put me to shame. But I am not alone. Nay, I have stout comrades beside me who are no less dedicated to the cause. My foremost peoples, Dezenta and Otaka. And Eskos is a Blime skills you just witness. Essegos, please say a word to the people. Bring you hope. We will give. We will give our all, every ounce of our strength. And this we solemnly swear. Can't use it now. My thanks, as a ghost. Your performance paved the way for my words. All present lent your their ears, no few opened their hearts. Already villagers have come seeking to learn the, of the new fist. Fine first show. Our forebears will doubtless be pleased. By restoring the fist, we honor our memory. I shall commence the villagers training at once, initiate them into the fundamentals of things. When that is over, we will continue our mission. Till then, pray see to honing your own skills, ere long you'll be called upon again. And the next one will be at level 65. In the meantime, I'm science business. Don't know you, traveler. You know, merchants, we're not, you'll not find much custom here. Greetings, a well-met elder, and sincerest apologies that I did not send word ahead of your arrival. Too long have I been away from Malagama, and I wouldn't know of your recent troubles. Ah, you are comrades of Mefred, I see, at thee. Be gone, though I suspect I know your purpose. The griffin came with many men, and left with many more. Such is the rumor. Is it true? He lit a fire in their hearts and dangled a dream upon their tired eyes, and now he comes to steal away what few remain. Griffin was a traitor and a madman, and we had no part in his schemes. He had made an agreement with the Alliance. This, this time, it will be different. This time? This time? Cold comfort to the dead and the ones left behind. How much more 
What must we give before we had our fill? Or fill? But, but surely you hate the Empire as much as we do. We took our lands, our traditions, even our god, and they demand a fifth of what little we have left. I hate the bastards with every fiber of my being. I hate's not enough, Mepherd. I can't. You can't keep doing this. I'll not tell anyone you came, but you need to go. Now. You must be and never return. You've got no right to speak to us like that. I got a quarry that is that was producing barely enough to keep us fed, and that was before half our young men and women went off to die for your bloody cause. So yes, I got every right to tell you to leave my village. No, you don't. Because it's my village. My home. What in the hells are you on about? Wait. I know those eyes. What are Curtis's girls? Lise. Lise Hext. And I'm here. I'm here to come take back my homeland. I Rago, the last time I saw you, you were... I didn't even know you were still alive, and I never thought you would come... I almost didn't. And my sister never will. Lots of others won't either. That's why we've got them. Got to carry on the fight. You even sound like him. <sighs> as you say, I got no right to tell you to leave. Alagana is as much your home as mine. But I say to you again, you can give no more. Yes, I heard you the first. Let's go. Could have been handled better, but what's done is done. At least we've been granted permission to stay. I was hoping Ragenfrid might uh, help us to recruit some of his people, but that clearly isn't going to happen. If you're to convince any of them to join, we need to first regain their trust. Risky and hardly subtle, but I say we approach the villagers, villagers directly, see what problems they've got, and if we can do anything to help. Makes sense to me. Let's split up and ask around. face an Alagon eye. What would you ask of me then? Stranger and a generous soul besides. Bullocks. That's not more than suspicious than a good Samaritan. On the other hand, if you're an Imperial agent, I expect you to go about your business with more discretion. Bugger me, you really are here to help, aren't you? Very well, I'll take you up on your offer, stranger. My little brother is working the rocks at Grimman needed. He's got something for me. Can you go and get it? Right then, Frightened Curiel is his name. Curl. Well, ask him for the leftovers. He ought to have, understand. You best keep your distance if you know what's good for you. Stay your peace and move on. Thank you for folks down in the luck. Congratulations, you found one. And as you can see, my leg ain't what it used to be. Some days I can hardly walk for pain. Mornings are the worst, especially after cold nights. Hard labors, labors right out. Too much pain and trouble for others. There's a tea that helps with it, though. I'd need to grind a pulley horn and a hornbird talon from blend. Yeah, you'll go and get some for me? Just like that. You can trouble yourself. Well, uh, let's talk to the joke boat keeper. Hey, 
All right, you oversized grasshopper. Why I keep saying about every time you run into an Aetherite or tune to it? Holy, uh, I forgot. You're for the leftovers, are you? Uh, not like my brother to send someone in his stead, but so be it. Follow the sacks over yonder. They're bleeding heavy, mind, so be careful when you pick them up. Don't worry, I'll just put them in the Amherst base. 
Yeah, I can teleport back to Pelagana. Ah, the new face. You have my leftovers? Well, I'll be. You actually went and brought the whole lot. Much obliged. Much obliged. It's Salt Peter for, for making the fire sand, in case you're curious what it's all for. The rocks by the lakes uh, got good, good deposits. It ain't hard for my brother to pass uh, for any other plotting poor even. All the while sweeping bits and pieces off to the side. Bundle up and sell to the, settler, the settlers. But trade with the resistance. It's a living in a way of fighting back besides. Our way of splitting spitting in the Guardian's eye for putting our father in Imperial in uniform and shipping him off to some faraway province 15 years ago. Don't know if he's dead or alive even, though if he he were alive, he'd not be long for this world. We were fighting we were caught fighting for the resistance, so this is the best we can do. That's the long and short of it. We do what we can, though we know it's not enough. I think we find the most feet Folks here ain't much different. Everybody's got a reason, but in the end, the results are the same. I suppose I just, I just wanted you to know, all, that I, that we know why you're here, and that even if we can't join you, we, we wish we could. You've been gone for a while. What brings you back to Alagana? I never meant to, I mean, in times like these, you never think of people who are actually, this country's hard on people, but it's not just that. The Imperials, they made it known I'm not to be helped. A good, a dead man's good for one lesson, you know, whereas, you know, whereas a live one, we're the resistance, right? I suppose there's no reason not to tell you then. My father, God's rest his soul, was deadly sick at the time, and so I'd gone out into the forest, spear in hand, to gather herbs. And then I made the good fortune to, had the good fortune to run into an Imperial patrol. My weapon marked me as rebels, so, or so they said. Not that I made a difference if I'd fought back. I knew that the lot of them were about the moment. Wow, them were about the moment that Centurion laid eyes on me. Didn't matter in the end, of course. Some people just like to hurt others. And by the time I limped back to the hut, I was too late for my father. Too late for me, too, I. And many others, I imagine. Help them, too, if you like. They'll be grateful and say thank you. But beyond that, I wouldn't hope for much. Ah, there you are, Essigos. I've been trying to help the villagers deal with this food shortage of theirs. Recently, the Imperials have been swooping into villages unannounced and seizing supplies in order to prevent the people from stockpiling, in case they might be in a lead with the resistance. It's not much, but I've taught them a few tricks to better hide that little, what little they got left. How's Lisa getting on, by the way? You'd think people would be more inclined to trust the local girl, assuming they remember her, that is. No, no, I didn't mean to. And where were you with these past 20 years? Where were you when we were being ground under the Black Ho Wolf's boot? On the other side of the bastard's wall, living the high life, I wager. That's not fair. Hello, oh, and who's this? Another one of your freedom-loving friends, deigning to help us poor unfortunate souls. Trying to whip us into a frenzy so you'll go and storm a castrum with our pickaxes and shovels? Leave all of you before you become and bring a cohort down on us all. And you, don't you dare speak as if you're one of us. You can't even begin to understand what we've been through. You weren't here, at least. You weren't here. This is my home, and I love it with all my heart. 
And if you tr truly have any love for it, you'll keep out of our your doomed rebellion. He has a point. No matter what I say or do, it doesn't change the fact that I left them behind. And this isn't about me or anyone else. It's about Alamigo. Let's go and find Mefri. It's like the Elder wasn't the only one unwilling to hear us out. Can't blame them, given what happened to, at the wall. Thought I might be able to appeal to them as a fellow. I don't know. But if anything, it just made them angrier. I haven't lived through it like they have. Can't claim to know the strug struggle like they do either. I ran too, I. But if I, I hadn't, I'd never have met Essigus or the rest of you. We might not be here today in a position to make a difference. So I don't regret my choices, nor will I apologize for them. There's more than one way to fight. Help someone, anyone, we need help. I don't like the sound of that one bit. Come on. Rikrata, he... The tribute of men, the bloody rat men, they... Uh, damn it all. You there, take a breath, and then tell us what happened. It was all business as usual. The tribute of men was due soon, and we were taking it to the Imperials when the Kikirin attacked. They took my brother and our money. Took him where? Ruins to the south of here. It was just an old temple before they came, and... Listen, where Ricardo's the only family I've got left. If I lose him... The ziggurat? The rat men took him there. He's good as dead. We've got to get after them. If there's any chance that our brother is still alive, we have to try. Right, at least we've got to help them. If not for the missing, missing men, then for the tribute to them. The guardians won't suffer excuses if they're late. So we're, we're Kratas. Uh, being held somewhere in the ziggurat to the south, which is being taken over by the host of Kikirin. Of bandits. That about covers it, then. Be prepared for a fight. They may not be the most challenging foes, but they sure be a lot of them.
There's a flat. I might joke about that. Please let me go. I'm begging you. I don't want to die. Is that? I think it came from the top of the ziggurat. Who dares come to loot our land flesh? Ours to eat. Ours to eat. We knew it would come to this. Kill them quick before they let the others. What did I do to deserve this? This has got to. I'd gone to bed hungry for months. I'm skin and bones, and I hardly made a, sn a snack, much less a meal. Oh, you found him. Wait, wait, are you here to rescue me? Your sister sent us. We're going to be all right. My sister. Oh, Rogar, we pray she's safe. And you, you lot fought your way in here just for me? To think there are still good, brave folk in the world. We should go before the Kikur and uh, return force. Do you still have the Tributum? Ah, yes, the Tributum. The Imperials will be wondering where I am. I have to go. What? Right now? In your condition? You don't understand. We were given a warning last month for being short. If I don't make it this time, there's no telling what will happen to me and my sister. I'm glad we saved him, but seeing him run off like that, it's a bad feeling about this. Listen, Eskos, I'm afraid. I think we need to go after Wakata. Wait, you better not be thinking of stopping him. You heard what he said. If they don't pay, pay one way, they'll pay another. I know what I do. I know that. I do. I don't want to interfere. I just, just want to see that he makes it there safe. If that's the sum of it, then fine. Let's head down and see if we can't pick up his trail.
Let's see, we expect you to find nothing over there. My feather. In the dirt, you spy a chocobo feather. Any luck? Chocobo feather, is it? Aye, by my reckoning, it came from Ricotta's bird. In which case, there's a collapsed bridge just uh, around the bend. Hug the rock. Rocks and stick to the shadows. We'll find him soon enough. Wait a minute now. I expect he'll be coming thundering around the bend and is that? Get to cover quickly now. Are they Imperials? Worse, skulls. Listen, Lise. Whatever happens, stay hidden and do not intervene. Understood? What? You there! Halt! You know you shouldn't be here. Explain yourself. Forgive me, sir. I, I came to deliver the tributum. Oh, I... A likely story. Only a fool would dare to come so late. Or, mayhap, a resistance spy. No! No, you've got it all wrong! I, I was waylaid by bandits! I it's not my fault! I said halt! <laughs> This is a joke. You don't seriously expect us to believe this is a fake. How stupid do you think we are? It is, I swear, on my mother's life. Spare us. You came late, you lied about bandits, and then you tried to cheat the Empire of its due. Think you can kill them all? Including the ones watching from the tower. Even if you did, others would come for him and his family. You'd be condemning them all to a life of hard labor, assuming they didn't just execute them, that is. But it isn't fair. It's your bloody fault we're stuck out here patrolling this godsforsaken wasteland. It's your fault I have to listen to people go on and on about how Alan Egan's can't be trusted. I've worked and toiled harder than any man. I'm a citizen, goddammit. And what are you? A stupid, stubborn little dog who'd sooner bite the hand that feeds him and pine for the good old days. That's enough! Lord Zenos is expecting our report. I bet the poor bastard can't believe his luck. He gets to go home. We should do the same.
I heard that commander was keen eyed, but gods, that was near not near thing. It tears me up inside to see my own kinsmen doing the doing the bidding of the viceroy. But they made their choice. If it comes to it, I'll cut them down. I'll cut down every last one of them myself. With Kratos alive, and the tribute has been paid, all that matters for now, I for one would rather not wait wait around to see if the Skulls decide to return. It'd be best to get get back to the Alim, Alga, to Alagana and tell Ragenfred his men got the job done. Really, you dead of gratitude for what you did. Wakara told me everything. How you fought for the Kikiran and saved his life. For all the good it did, we saw what happened when he met with the Skulls. How they beat him half to death. You could have stopped them. Aye, I reckon you could. Never it's a warrior, as is your comrade. But you're strong like your father. Must be That must be his blame. But I thank Ralgar that you did not, because it would not have ended with them. Where Krata and his sister would have been branded insurgents, if not the whole lot of us. Bones heal, scars fade, but the dead would remain dead. We're alive. That's more than we can... We can be said for only the gods know how many of us. That's enough for you, is it? To put up whatever, with whatever they do to you, so long as you get to see another day? That's right. You got your teeth. You'll learn to live with the pain. I'll admit, I was qu quick to judge you, Lise. And for that, I apologize. I know you and yours mean well, I do. But I'm telling you, Gods in the heavens is my witness that you've got nothing left to give. We can't help you. I understand. Thank you for your honesty. She may say it, but she doesn't mean it. Nor would I expect her to. Her father was stubborn as an ox too. She said on walking the same path, I'd pray she won't follow it to the same end. Well, she took it better than I expected, which isn't saying much, I suppose. We we'll would go and see if she's all right. Would you go and see if she's all right? Now we got a Scottish accent. Yeah, it feels all right. Here she. Hey, Winter Girl, have you seen Lise? Oh, there she is. She's just outside the gate.
Well, before we talk to Lisa, let's talk to Bridget Gallup, shall we? You look well, brother, stronger than when we last spoke. Our membership, too, grows stronger. Word spread after the speech. Others have come to learn, but it is too soon to be satisfied. I would welcome more to the face, but there are villagers who's, who still doubt us, our authenticity and our purpose. To convince them, I would demonstrate our techniques in real combat by way of cross-discipline match. As for our opponents, I have, have the pugilists of Ulda in mind, uh, assuming they are willing. We are well known in the pugilist guild, if you ask. Yes, they will surely listen. We speak with them on our behalf. There are my thanks. Go oh, well, Essegos, and my uh, regards to Master Heyman. Uh, I'm going to grab this quest, but I'm going to finish this quest line because we're getting near the kind of end of time. So I want to finish up this section, and next time we will... Uh, do the monogamous side of thing. Sorry for running off like that. Alamegan's terrorizing their own. Can't just can't accept it, you know. No matter what he thinks, they shouldn't have to put up with it day after day. I am not completely naive, you know. I didn't expect them to storm a castrum with their pickaxes and shovels or whatever it was. Nor did I expect Wakata Prada to just lie there in the dirt while they kicked him. Can't claim to know their plan, their pain. I barely remember this place or, or even my father's face. But I remember Ida's. I remember how scared she was when we ran, and that look in her eyes when she talked about home. Her home, but not mine, is it? Yeah, you are, Lise. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, uh, you found me? Got something else to say? Aye, that I do. I am. Um, I said some things to you before that I shouldn't have. It wasn't my place to do so, and I'm sorry. All that rubbish I spouted was about how I loved my village, and when one of ours was in need, I was cowering there with all the others. I didn't even think to go after Karata, but you did. Made me feel like, like the bloody hypocrite I am. If I truly cared for my people, I'd fight for them. So I will, if you'll have me. You're asking to join the resistance? When you put it like that, I uh, suppose I am. But not just me. There are others I know who we think, who've been thinking about it for a while now. There's not many of us. We're not hardened warriors like you lot, but if your heart bleeds for our amigo, then that's good enough for me. You and yours are more than welcome at Ralgar's Reach. Thank you, sir. We, you wouldn't regret this. I'll go and speak with the others and send word when we're ready. Still think this isn't your home? No, no, I, I was just thinking out loud. And with that, my friends, our mission is concluded. Let us return to the Reach. First of all, allow me to commend you both on a job well done. Though nothing went according to plan, we nonetheless managed to attract some new recruits, and it was your passion and conviction that moved them to join. Thank you. No, 
thank you for giving me an opportunity to find out what our people have been through these past 20 years. It's been humbling and troubling too. I'd heard about the skulls, but that was the first time I'd seen them in the flesh. I know you say that they're, they're the same as any other Imperial soldier. And maybe that's how I'd have to think of them, them myself if our ba paths ever crossed the battlefield. But when, not if, that day will come, Lise. We can't afford to hesitate when it does. Young, old, construct, citizen, guardian, alamegan, none of that matters. They're all got their reasons. But they're no better than yours. They're no better than yours, especially when you're bearing down on you, blade in hand. Saying that, I don't want, don't want to kill them any more than you do. If I could convince them to lay down their arms, I would. Sadly, I've never been much of a talker myself. But who knows? Maybe we could, could be one, Lise. Well, there certainly was one. Right then, I'd best begin preparing uh, for these new recruits. Eskos, Lise, it's been a pleasure. Grab the material. And we will leave it at that for today. It's more the Rago Freeborn as we uh, end. Yeah, and I believe I'll be streaming more of this tomorrow. I will see you next time.